Hey everyone, welcome to Encore and continuing on with our airbrushing series. Today we're going to talk about contouring and highlighting. Keep watching. Hey everyone, it's Corin. And you're watching Encore Makeup. Blend, blend, blend. Hi Corin, stop using my lipstick. Hey everyone, welcome back. So I already did my foundation. So if you haven't seen that, make sure to watch it. And also the rest of the uh, airbrushing lessons that we've done in the past. All right, I'm going to try to put the links to the video in the more info section for you guys to easily find it. So just click on the links. And today we're going to do contouring and highlighting because we already have our foundation on. All right, and again, I'm going to use water base. And this is from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. All right, it's a water-based airbrush foundation. And for contouring, I'm going to use a shade, two shades, darker than my skin tone. Okay, so this is an R4 from OCC. Now, for your reference, guys, um, for your base foundation, if you guys are an NC30 or to an NC35, my coloring, okay, I'm an R2 on um, airbrush foundation from OCC. That's what I have on, all right? So for the um, contouring, I'm going to use R4, okay, because it's two shades up. Again, shake well before using as always. And the airbrush I'm going to be using again is my Sparmax from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics, all right? And for contouring, you're just going to need about four drops. And that's going to be plenty enough to contour. All right. And then you're going to load down your PSIs, guys, to about 12 or 13 for contouring, okay? Okay, so I already lowered my PSI to about 12. And I'm just going to test. My product's going to come out fine and it's not going to spit out. And you can easily do that by just kind of like airbrushing it right a piece of uh, tissue or napkin all right and it looks fine all right and then what you want to do is feel it first right in the contour of your cheekbone okay so that's the way that you can tell if you're doing this at a client it's easy because you know where their cheekbone is and you know where to place it right underneath but if you're doing it on yourself you want to feel the air okay the air is coming out and you want to feel it right where you want it Okay, so right now I have it to where I want it. I'm going to actually start from the hairline, okay, and then work downwards, okay. I'm going to smile so I can tell where my cheekbone is and I'm not going to be able to put products in there, okay. See that contour? It's beautiful. There's no sharp edges to it. That's something that's amazing about airbrush makeup okay there you go now i'm going to do this side here first i want to make sure that it's in the right spot by feeling it okay and then starting from the hairline i'm going to work it downwards okay and just brush it down a little bit right into the jawline All right, it looks pretty even. So there you go. I have contour in my cheeks. All right, and I'm going to contour a little bit right in my nose. Again, same thing, air first. I'm going to feel right where I want it. And then I'm going to apply the product. There you go. Same thing on the other side. And just kind of stand back away from the mirror and look at that. That looks good. Seems a little bit more in here. Okay, you don't need a lot of product when you're contouring the nose, all right? So again, control on the lever for that. Okay, 
and I think that's all I'm going to contour. I'm going to warm a little bit of my forehead area over here just to give it a little bit of that nice bronzy look. Just like so. Alright, I'm just going to hit a little bit of my jawline just to give it a little bit of dimension. There you have it. Contour, nice warm glow, a little bit of contouring on the nose. We're not done yet because we're going to highlight all right, and a little bit more definition of my jawline. See it right there, okay? Okay, and then I'm ready to highlight, and I'm going to use one shade lighter than my skin tone. All right, so this is R1. Again, shake well before using. And once again, you're just going to need about three to four drops. Again, using a tissue, just make sure that the product is going to come out. Alright, and then I'm ready to highlight again, air first. And I just want to make sure it's right where I want it, so I'm going to highlight the top of the cheekbone. like so. Same thing on the other side. Air first. Make sure I'm feeling where I want it to be. Okay. The cheek, working it upwards towards the hairline. Okay, like so. And then I'm going to do down the nose. Again, just air first, get a feel for it. A little bit in the forehead, a little bit on the chin. Okay, if you prefer to highlight the above the jawline area, feel free to do that as well. Just very lightly. And I'll definitely add a little bit more dimension. Make your cheek pop out. Look at that. All right. So that's pretty much it as far as contouring and highlighting. So until the next class, thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.